Dame Ninette was mm. a tartar, was she not? Yes. She was known for a very sharp oh, mouth was, and yes. real disciplinarian. Yes, horrid, yes. Um, I mean, she was... <laughs> <laughs> she lived on the terrace in Barnes. I used to go and visit her there. But I was her naughty she boy. She had a soft spot for you, apparently. Well, my first audition, my, my first class in front of her was when I was 13. And we were terrified because she'd founded the Royal Ballet. She founded the cell as well. She founded the school. Discovered All Margot Fontaine, discovered... Ashton. She Rudolph stole Maria, Ashton from whatever. Ron Bear. Yes, she was a poacher as well. It's a headhunter. But, um, yes, and my first class in front of her... Well, shall I tell you how she actually... Please do. ...got to form the Raw Ballet? She was um, in the Diaghilev Ballet with Long Lijinsky and all the others. And, of course, that ended in the 20s. A lot of... Um, the Russians went to America, like Balanchine, and formed the New York City Ballet. She came here, and she asked Lillian Bayliss, who formed the National Theatre, uh, another woman, and uh, she said, Miss Bayliss, on the dark nights at the Sadness Wells and at the Old Vic, could I just experiment with a little dance project? And she got some funding for it. And Lillian Bayliss was famous for ha saying, I'll have to ask God. <laughs> and so this actor came in one day and she and she said, Oh, Miss Burgess, I think I should um, be doing Hamlet this season. No, I've been waiting an awful long time. She said, I'll have to ask God. And so she kneeled on the floor and prayed in front of the actor. And then she'd get her, <coughs> God said no. <laughs> <laughs> It's amazing, and luckily, God said yes to Devalwov, you know. <laughs> and that's how the Sadler's Bell, six little girls, six girls, women, um, started the Royal Ballet. Mm. Yes, it's incredible. Yeah. But you had a bit of a reputation for being naughty <laughs> in the Royal Ballet School. Yes, yeah, pretty bad. Yes, I can't tell all those stories. There's still people going there. But, um, well, in my day, there were four, five boys to 25 girls in each class each form of each year. And now I'm very happy to say it's 50% boys, 50% girls. So it's incredible. And we did a big fundraiser to build a big boys wing in the park just recently, which is fantastic. But well, yes, we used to um, raid the um, teacher's um, you know, but, but she, was, she, was, like that. she just overlooked any naughtiness because of your talent. Yes, That's yes, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as it wasn't serious, you know. No. Right, yeah. you know. But she was great. And I remember my first meeting with her. So I'm in the class and I do gash and I do my double pirouette and I'm and I'm finishing off. And she, and a substance from my nose landed on the <laughs> <laughs> And the teacher went, God. You know, because it's the big day, and, she me an and I had to crawl on my force and just wipe it. And I looked up into her eyes and said, oh, get back to class. And she winked at me, and I think that was our first moment of contact. 